All right, well, I'm, I'm taping now, so what do you want to say? My name is Genevieve, and when I caught a dragonfly, it just bit me right on the hand. Well, how about you, Sylvan? Uh, I don't, I don't have any spikes. You don't have any spikes? I'm not sure what that means. I want to, I'm going to go get my pet, um, my pet caterpillar that I just found. Okay, well, uh, long haul homestead tour 2019. Uh, so, anyway, we'll get started here. I'm back. So Genevieve has a, a pet. Pet caterpillar. It's hard to see it. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see it. That's all right. I'm going to show people some it. other stuff. I'll take it out. Okay. And, um... So first off, uh, we have hardwood floors, finally. Uh, I think I already showed the, uh, I don't know, installed hardwood floors last summer. don't remember if that was on the last video tour. This was probably on the last video tour, a uh, um, the Ritz cellar, uh, which is a big project about a year and a half ago. Um, anyway, not a whole lot else has changed in here, I don't think, but that's the house. There's my caterpillar. And there's Genevieve's caterpillar. Can't quite see. Oh, there it is. Genevieve's caterpillar. She's very excited about her pets these days. Um, going it back looks, outside. It looks like Here, we'll go spiky, through the, the hobbit door. The door is just a little under five feet high. The freezer room, screen porch, seen most of all this before. The little strawberry garden with an apple tree that's struggling along behind there. Uh, the uh, We're redoing, we're finally putting doors, sliding barn doors on the storage pole barn. That's a big project we're in the middle of. And last summer, I can't remember if I should, but we, we actually installed sort of a floor in here, a uh, floating floor. Oh, we got the, uh, you know, the greenhouse addition, the walking onions, strawberries, raised beds. Um, got some green beans going there, chard, uh, some beets in the back there. Uh, Strawberries that we've got a squirrel stealing those lately. Whole bunch of brassicas, broccoli, cauliflower, collards, cabbage, kale, um, some lettuce, some Brussels sprouts, and there's Amelia. And yes, we're about to have another baby. And this is our big pile of uh, manure that uh, our friend Bobby turned into a garden for the time being is cover crop of potatoes, onions, other whole bunch of other mix of seeds and random stuff. Um, the annual gardens, uh, well the rest of the annual gardens got some carrots, some uh, mixture of uh, turnips and uh, I believe well actually mostly rad, daikon radishes, got garlic in the back, the garlic's looking pretty great. Whole bunch of beets in this row. Um, over here, got the mint and oregano growing wild there. In the greenhouse, the hoop house, we have uh, tomatoes and peppers and basil and some squash and other fun stuff. Then, uh, yeah, this garden is uh, kind of going the um, sort of uh, orchard here. The plum trees seem to be doing pretty decent we've kind of like let various weeds that we like go wild although this still needs a little bit of weeding done to it a lot of our currants and gooseberries are doing really well which is nice um, this one's just going nuts you can see all those berries on there and yeah the currants and gooseberries really seem to do well There's a couple more varieties we planted about 10 or 10 plus varieties. Oh yeah, look at those gooseberries. Yeah. Um, and then this is a 
really nice uh, cultivated variety of lamb's quarters that we're hoping just kind of spreads itself everywhere. So yeah, uh, some of the apple trees are really struggling along, but we've got a few, a uh, few of them have died, uh, several still surviving, but struggling along, a few thriving. Um, we made a, uh, where we have the gravity feed shower, we made a little uh, privacy fence here. So it's actually kind of like a, like a shower booth now and bathtub booth. So right now we're soaking shiitake logs in the bathtub, but we make a fire under the bathtub sometimes and have warm baths, mostly in non-mosquito season. So we've harvested quite a few shiitakes the last month or two. That's been nice. There's our gravity feed shower. Um, more shiitake logs over in the back there. Um, there's some more logs. Don't see any shiitakes popping right at the moment, but we just started soaking them again the other day. Uh, oh yeah, we moved the uh, moved the outhouse to a different location, so it's kind of more centrally located. Uh, oh, we also installed the chickens are still in the chicken coop over there. We've got about 15 or I think 14, 13 or 14 birds right now. Um, and we did an expansion. I forgot to mention this when I was over here. How you doing, Galvin? Genevieve? We did an expansion of our solar array, so now we've got about 2,500, just short shy of 2,500 watts installed there. So definitely power has been uh, plentiful since we did that. A uh, few big projects. I guess I'll wander over here real briefly. What, the lettuce? Genevieve likes lettuce. <laughs> Do you like lettuce that much, Galvin? Not, much. Not quite that much, huh? <laughs> okay. Don't pick any of those um, those Brussels sprout greens, okay? Um, getting ready to make like a sandbox right in front of the the uh, uh, the rock there, and. Oh yeah, so two big things, big projects that we've been working on. We're probably not going to end up getting anywhere near... Well, I was hoping to build a pole barn back here uh, this year, but uh, looks like it's going to be a next year sort of project. But we did do a substantial clearing right back in here, not too far from the house. Um, yeah, I'm thinking at least a 60 by 24, but maybe larger pole barn here for storage and uh, mostly being able to work on stuff in the winter. Um, so the road is actually right where that stump is over there is the road. So this is, we'll be able to, it's a nice flat spot real close to the house and real close to the road. And the line of woodsheds, the infamous line of mini woodsheds. That's a new one right there. Um, friend who's staying with us just built that one. Ooh, squeeze through the woodshed row. It's the tiny house. It's all painted now. I don't remember if it was, I don't think it was painted last year during last year's video. Trim is not finished yet on the outside. That's basically the only thing that's not finished on the thing. We still need to do some trim, but on the outside, but inside, Ba -ba -da -da. It is a fully finished, pretty sweet space. We use the same hardwood flooring. We got a whole bunch of the salvaged uh, Brazilian walnut. And uh, yeah, so it's a pretty nice space with a fold down table and counter. No electricity yet, but the basics got really nice uh, passive solar in here during the winter where it's situated. Gray water sink and the cook stove slash uh, you know heating element. So I was in here for a lot of uh, this last winter. We've got a friend staying in here right now actually.
but I was in here a lot last winter doing the insulation when it was zero degrees uh, and of course in doing the flooring and everything and of course I had to install the stove last so I didn't get to heat the place much while I was working on it but yeah you've got a really nice view of the gardens here um, and you know the homestead this is actually this that we're facing south more or less here so we have a this is situated very well for for passive solar so anyway going back out to the daylight we planted a whole bunch of gosh i think 40 pounds of potatoes this year so hopefully we'll have a pretty good potato harvest um that's these all these new beds are planted with potatoes um plus the potatoes that are over in the other thing another struggling long apple tree there more genevieve on camera what's what's up snugs inside you want me to bring the camera inside you got to talk to the camera snugs i'm i'm filming right now uh yeah at the very end i will i can't remember if um i think that last year for several years we didn't have an actual wall on this end of the tool kitchen and so i put a new roof last year i noticed the roof was leaking so i put a new roof on top of the tool kitchen last summer had to it was kind of pain in the butt with those panels but i figured it out and extended it a little further to protect it a little better and finally finished that wall which was like a huge deal but makes an enormous difference and now i have shelves and organization at least relatively speaking it's uh well a friend of mine said you know most people have like five times this much space and it's harder to find stuff so I try to try to keep it organized built a lot of shelves in here uh, and yeah having that wall and that new workbench is, is pretty what huge did? so that's a skateboard wheel why did you take the wheels off the skateboard because we're using them for the pole barn we're using them for the rolling pole barn uh, barn doors oh. yeah so anyway um, yeah you hear the inverter working hard there that's the fan for the inverter. So moving along this way, of course we have the, the good old tool trailer. Still, you know, I'll just peek inside here real quick. As always, relatively sort of kind of organized. Uh, the overflow of the stuff, the hardware, etc. More of the raised beds. And move along this way to some larger projects, other large projects. Uh, I think we had the teepee set up there. There's the, the good old tiny house, the original tiny house. The teepee, the fire pit. All this stuff is, nothing's really changed a whole lot here in the last year, except for over here. I don't know if I, I can't, I should probably watch these videos before doing the, but I don't know if I'd started the the uh, foundation for the sauna yet. But I bet even if I'd started, I know I was I hadn't finished it. So I I finished the sauna foundation and I've started on the log work finally. I'm trying to learn this rather complicated notch called the uh, uh, Dalarna notch or the Dalinut. Uh, it's from Dalarna region of Sweden. And then I've got it full scribed. You can't see super well, but basically the one log is drawn onto the, the log underneath of it. And you cut it right to the line. And that one over there is ready to be scribed the rest of the way. It's got its rough notch. Um, but I'm thinking I'm just going to go with the uh, a notch that looks the same from the outside, but is slightly different than the Dalarna notch because, man, that, that one's just throwing me through some loops and I don't have anybody here to show me so I'm trying to learn from books and one of the books is written in German and that's just not quite cutting it but I'm pretty happy with how the uh, stone foundation turned out um, we didn't have to go too far uh, down built it right on bedrock there on almost flat piece of bedrock um, so yeah and I'm, I'm milling the logs and then hand hewing like finishing them so 
uh, which supposedly, you know, is it's beautiful, but it also closes the grain when you hew downwards. So it makes it more water resistant than a sawn log. Um, so yeah, that's a big project this summer. Among other projects is the sauna. And right next to the well here, which we still haven't, still aren't using. Uh, have to figure out the arsenic thing. Um, anyway, moving along. Oh, well, we'll move along this way to we got some new machines and stuff, but that's not the important part of the tour. The important part is all the stuff we've done with tools and such. So I got the logs laid out all for that sauna. I've had this pile of logs in the tour all, like the last five years, and uh, now I've got them all laid out and numbered. There's one of our apple trees that's growing slowly but surely, and Got these raised beds over here and a little gardening going on here. The grapevine, the uh, it's this this one's struggling. I don't know what's happening with this one, but it's still alive. But um, and then uh, yeah, we built this this year. But, or we started building this last summer. Um, actually, really, we didn't start building it till last late last fall. Um, and the idea was when our friends were staying. In the yurt here, they really needed better storage because they only had this as storage, um, which is by its nature kind of temporary, janky, you know, little storage shed. So we decided to, to build a nice wood shed, storage shed deal. And uh, we didn't get it completed before they, they left and they were gone for the time being. We uh, bought the yurt from them. So kind of outfitted the. Uh, the yurt for other visitors and we've got a couple more friends staying here at the moment um, but yeah this yurt is I don't know if it's been in any previous tours it was our friend's space for a while Hi. so um, all the 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 lattice work and the the rafters are oh, from the land that, uh, hey, that we milled the lattice work that is a big wolf spider. Check that out. Whoa, that's fun. Yep. And so this has its own uh, off-grid um, electric system. And yeah, so situated with the old, uh, you know, pump, pump sink, gray water, all that stuff. So yeah. Pretty nice space here that we have available for friends and potential guests. Dad so and family. And family. Yep. Yep. Yeah, we have grandma and grandpa stay here sometimes, don't we? Yep. That's right. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's got its own stove with a uh, heating element. Uh, yeah. The uh, uh, or the um, uh, hot water heating. Yep, we have games. We had game night here the other night. It was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Super fun. So, okay, we're going to get out of here now. All right. Because uh, this is a guest space right now. So. What day is it today? Um, it's Sunday. Well, what, what month so, is it? So, what month is it? It's July. Okay. Yep. And, uh, There's the panels for the yurt there. Uh, that's a really good question. I'm not sure what day in July it is. I can't remember at the moment. But, moving along this way, you know, we've got the, not a whole lot has changed in the, uh, gardens here. We had a couple of apple trees, one or two apple trees die. The, uh, wood soil is just going nuts in the blueberries, which is kind of nice. And Genevieve really likes to eat the wood soil. She thinks she's a goat sometimes, maybe. The blueberries look like they're turning out to do a... Uh, we're going to come up with a pretty decent harvest of blueberries this year, I think, if we can get them before the birds do. The raspberries are going nuts as usual. Um, the uh, 
Oh yeah, this June berry's actually got some berries on it too. That's kind of nice. This apple tree is one of ours that's thriving and getting bigger and doing well. This one seems to be thriving as well, at least at the moment. That aronia bush is thriving, and we've got lots of berries getting ready on that. And got the other aronia here. And, oh, wow. Well, somebody, yeah, some people have been busy around here with weeding and other stuff. That's great. I don't know how uh, somebody got in there, but they did. These, these were being choked out by raspberries, but they're looking great now. There's a Rugosa Rose. Oh, the currants. The currants are going nuts as usual. There's some red ones already on that. Might even be able to find a couple ripe ones if you kids are lucky. There's one of our younger apple trees that's doing all right. Um, ooh, the grapevine is just going nuts right there. Uh, yeah, that Yeah, that, that apple tree is, seems to be growing slowly but surely. And... There's a June berry, another Look, apple tree that seems to be doing okay. Right Those look like they're almost ripe, but they're probably ripe enough. The sea berries are surviving. Um, more currants and another apple tree. That's actually one that Amelia grafted. That one seems to be doing fairly well. Um, more gooseberries and currants and another apple tree. And This one's kind of struggling along. Right, and that's definitely not ready. Those have to be a lot darker than that. And uh, then we have this this uh, grape vine here that seems to be really actually doing kind of great. That was crowded out by raspberries, but uh, I guess our, our guests have been doing a lot of weeding. Oh, and then there's the monster, the super monstrosity currant bush, which has completely taken over this apple tree, which was our biggest, healthiest looking apple tree, but... I don't know. I don't think it's the current that's uh, making that one have problems, but it's it's having some issues. Um, then, uh, yeah, another apple tree and another apple tree back there. Another one of our thriving apple trees right there, getting taller. Um, whew, gangbusters on that current bush. Holy cow. The honeyberries have been starting to produce. Um, we actually have, we actually ate quite a few honeyberries a few days on this, on that uh, plant right there, which is our oldest one. We planted a new dwarf apple tree here, which is kind of our laying on the ground dwarf apple tree. Um, ooh, there's some gooseberries on that one too. Look at that, but those are not ready yet, so don't touch them. All right, <laughs> and that's that apple tree that is getting crowded out by that current, but. Man, that current's going nuts. Um, had some uh, potatoes that we harvested from this hugel bed last year, and they're uh, some of them are coming back. <laughs> I guess we missed a few. You're right. That one is taller than you. And it's right next to that apple tree. But the apple tree's taller than it. So, yeah, that's... Uh, Things coming right along there in the, you know, we could, that garden could use a lot of TLC, but it's, uh, you know, we, we're giving it a little bit here and there. And so here's some of the logs that I'm lining up for the mill for the sauna. And um, we've got, uh, you know, the A frame and the sawmill shed and let's see I'm peeking the a-frame real quick here I suppose it's a little bit cleaned up in there and kind of tried to oh yeah we got a looks like looks like we got a bear hide <laughs> and among other things and some other hides <laughs> Uh, oh, wow. A friend of ours is staying in here, who has been uh, doing a lot with with hides. So, um, yeah, it smells like old hides. Is what it smells like. That's what old hides smell like. They smell kind of like jerky. <laughs> and let's wander over to Damien's spot. So, he's our friend.
is our friend who lives here. So, yeah, we've got the, uh, the old woodshed with some more hides in it. And the grill. We just felled that big spruce to give his garden a little more sunlight. And uh, Damien's garden is looking like more full sun than, than ever. And he's got some stuff planted here and there. And he definitely looks like he's growing some squash there and some, some peas. And yeah, he's got some beets over there. Lots of lamb's quarters. Damien said. And there's Damien's place. Damien said the thing that he was hoping was he was most excited about was the, was the squash. Hey. <laughs> well, his squash is definitely grown. Oh yeah, and he made a new bed here of sorts. What are we gonna go down down there and back to the other way? No, don't climb on there. So you can climb it. No, down. do not do that. That's not right. Should we go down the sugar the sugar bush way? Yeah, back home? Yeah. Whoa, look at that cool falling down tree. We've never seen it before. Oh yeah, that one fell down a long time ago. Really? I think we cut we we cut it and used the log for something. So that's the uh, general uh, homestead tour. Uh, boy, I'm gonna have to tell Damien to put his ashes somewhere else, man. There's a big pile of ashes there. Um, that's uh, most of the. We'll walk by the sugar shack here, and. Hey, Dad. Yeah. What's up? Um, this is the way to the cave. If you oh want yeah, to that's right. Uh, or can the video last that long? It could last that long. I don't know if I want it to last that long. Because people generally get pretty bored of watching videos that are as long as Dad makes them. Especially when you're walking around and the camera's kind of wobbly. It's different than actually walking around. But... There's the sugar shack. There's the... Is that the way to the cave? No, this is the way to the cave. Oh, sure, just a minute. I'll show you the sugar shack. And, oh yeah. Looks nice. Looks like we got some wood stacked up in there. Ready for next year. And, yeah. No, you do not climb on there. That is sketchy, little guy. Okay, let's go. Now we're go. You kids do not climb on any wood. Okay, now we're going down to the cave. It's a cave that I Wow, this cave is really deep in here, isn't it? You guys need to trim your trail a little bit, huh? You don't know how. You just use the loppers to trim the little branches. Yeah, I'm surprised you guys discovered this. Well, it's way back here. In the bog. Oh, yeah, that does look like a cave, doesn't it? Yep. Pretty cool. Wow. Look at that. Once in the middle of winter, we, put, we made a fire right inside of that cave. Doesn't look like a good place to have a fire now because I see some standing water there. Yeah. But that is pretty cool. But in the winter, all the water is gone. Frozen. frozen. It's all frozen, yeah. Yeah. And a few months ago. Hey. I'm I don't know if that's going to support you, is it? Oh, it, uh, it, can it, there's a horse fly on your. Um, yep. A few months ago, we made 
a fire right there. And oh, wow. It can even hold eight again. Wow. Well, cool. Well, do you kids want to show anything else to the video? I think I'm going to go back, back to the house. You want to say anything else? Uh, yeah. What do you want to say? What do you want to show? What else do you want to show to the video? It's on the way back. On the way back? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I didn't show the video of the chickens, because we have some, some friends helping us with the chickens right now. Well, this is a pretty obvious trail. Yeah. Keep going. I think we passed No, it's up here, I think. Come on. It's a tree with knock on the bottom of it. That's a pretty cool tree. No, not that tree. There's knocks in the tree. That is pretty cool. Yep, yeah, that is really co a cool tree. Yeah. Okay, kids, you want to say goodbye? No, we have to show them the chickens, please. Okay, well, this is going to be a very, very long video, you know? Show them one ninja trick right now. One ninja trick? Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. I'm going to show them something else. The one on the scaffolding. Well, that. you know what? what? If they're still watching, if we post this whole video and people are still watching by now, you kids need, need to take that stuff back up the hill. Okay? That. Oh, I yeah, well, somebody dragged it down here. I just saw it the other day. Somebody's got to drag it back up. But I bet if people are... Looks like our little shelter... Kids' shelter collapsed. Yeah. Last, uh, sometime this year. The tree fell. The tree that it was kind of an integral part of the structure kind of fell down. But... It kind of fall down. Looks like the chickens are busy here. I see them. Aha. <laughs> They're busy and very interested in searching for worms or something. Maggots, maybe? Bugs? But they're not very interested in hanging out too close to the camera, though. They're a little <laughs> camera shy. Just a little bit. The closest white chicken's name is Bravey. Mm -hmm. And the big one with lots of colors is... The, you'll probably know it's the rooster. His name is Rainbow. But they're the only two that, that I can... Oh. And Isn't there Big Mama? Mine. Isn't there one called Big Mama? Yeah. And I so that's the. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. Last. Okay. Hey, hey, hey! Go do your trick. Well, I didn't see it very well. Wow. Looks pretty good. Okay, what else did you want to show? Okay. It's in the house. Remember you said the end of the video? What is it? Um, 
Bang, bang on that drum. Oh sure. Yep, we can we can show that. Yeah. So this is just about this is just about the conclusion of Long Haul 2019 homestead tour. But Genevieve's gonna do a little mu musical outro here.